Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to tell you about backup options for Android-based smartphones and tablet PCs. There are three main ways to backup an Android device – Cloud Backup, Backup with Recovery Menu, and Software Backup using third-party apps. In this video I'll tell you about each method in detail. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Let's begin with Cloud Backup. Every Android device is connected to a Google account. If you don't have such an account, create it by going to the website, click to create a Google account and enter your data. If you already have one, go to your device's menu, choose Settings, Backup and Reset, enable the sliders next to Backup My Data and Automatic Restore and then select the account for backup. To select items for backup, go to your Google account settings and configure synchronization. You can choose to sync contacts, application data and Google Fit. It's the simplest way that's not going to keep your messages, apps and other stuff, but at least it will secure your contacts and some other data. After you factory reset your device or buy a new one, the smartphone will get the settings from the cloud storage. Install the apps you used to have on your old device and configure them automatically, while restoring the saved data. With Android 8 you can also backup text messages. To backup messages you can use a special utility as well. You can download it from Play Market, Google Play, for example SMS Backup Plus or a similar one. For some devices you can also backup the call register. To backup your photos, you can use Google Photos. All you'll have to do is to sign in by providing your Google account data, set up synchronization and all your photos will be backed up to a cloud storage. Such application as Google Drive will let you keep not only photos but also documents, videos and much more. However, the space of such storage is usually limited. When using Cloud Backup, such backup copies will be created automatically after you configure them, contrary to the case when you use other methods. Also, Android devices have a built-in function of creating a backup and restoring from it. Such backup contains a copy of the operating system, its settings and all installed apps. To create a backup, go to Recovery menu. To do it, switch off the phone and wait 20 to 30 seconds for all processes to finish and the battery go to passive mode. Then hold down Volume Plus button or Volume Minus for some devices and press the Power button. For some devices it can be Home button. Other combinations are also possible. For example, hold down the Power button for 2 or 3 seconds and then press Volume Minus or hold down the power button for 2 or 3 seconds and then press Volume Plus. Or press three buttons at the same time – Volume Plus, Volume Minus and the power button. Or if there is a physical Home button, the combination of Volume Up, Home and Power buttons. As there are lots of Android devices and their variety is growing all the time, you can find more detailed information in the official website of your device. Look it up on the Internet or try all possible combinations. After you see the logo and the words Boot Mode, Recovery Mode, let go of the buttons. After some time you will see a picture of Line Android with an exclamatory mark. If the menu doesn't show up, you will have to press the corresponding button. It may be the Power, Volume Up or Volume Down button or you may have to hold down the Power button and press the Volume Up button and with some devices you may have to use touch buttons at the bottom of the screen. Anyway, in the end you should see the Recovery menu. Use the volume control buttons to select backup user data. To select an item in the menu, press the volume button upwards and if nothing happens, then try another button – the power button or one of the touch buttons. After that, creating an Android backup will start. It will take some time depending on how large your system is. 
Restoring the system can be done in the same way, the only difference being that you should select Restore user data and specify the path to the backup if the system failed to find it automatically. If you don't see such an item in the recovery menu, your module might be unable to create backups with the recovery menu, so you'd better use another way. Device, manuf device manufacturers offer their own utilities for backup. Such apps can create more extensive backups in comparison with versatile tools. It will help you to recover completely all the data after resetting, refreshing, or upgrading your device. Such backup will be useful for restoring the device if anything happens to it, or if you replace the current device with a newer model from the same manufacturer. Of course, manufacturer cannot promise you successful transfer of data to another device, but it's quite possible when you move data between devices of the same brand. One of the versatile backup solutions is My Phone Explorer. You can download it from the official website and you can find the link below this video. There are lots of similar apps, but this one is quite simple and it doesn't require root rights. Start the program, connect the device to a computer with a cable, press F1 or go to the menu File – Connect. Before connecting the device to the computer, make sure USB debugging is enabled. This mode is meant for developers. You can find it when you go to Settings, find the item Developer options and set the slider next to USB debugging. If there is no item developer options in your phone's menu, it can be fixed easily. Go to the section About Phone and tap 10 times on Build Number until a message appears telling you you are now a developer. Try all methods of connecting your device to the computer. In my case, the utility could only recognize the phone in the camera mode. As soon as the phone is connected, click on Extras, Create Backup, and choose the folder where the backup file should be saved. Check the items you want to save and click Create Backup. When it's over, you'll see a message saying Finished creating backup, so click on Close. In the selected folder, a backup file with the extension MPB will appear. For recovery, go to Extras, select Restore Backup, Specify the path to the file and click Restore Backup in the window that opens. Samsung has created a special utility for this purpose – Samsung Kais. If you own a Samsung device, you might have already used this utility. And if you haven't done it yet, you can download it from the official website by following the link below this video. Run the program, enable USB debugging, connect the device to the computer with a cable and wait until the app recognizes your phone model. Then select Backup or Restore, check the necessary items and click Backup. For recovery, go to Restore data, select the folder containing the backup, check the items for recovery and click here to restore. If you accidentally removed data from your phone, there is a video about restoring it in our channel and you can find the link in the description. Also, you can copy your data – photos, videos and music – to your computer by connecting your device and just doing some copy and paste operations. It's not difficult at all, just find the stuff you need. Usually, you can find it in folders with corresponding names like camera, video, music, etc. As you can see, there are many ways to back up an Android device to choose from, so use one or several of them to prevent yourself from losing important information. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!